back, everybody. Now, next weekend, not this weekend, but next weekend, you and your family can enjoy the outdoors with Sugar Camp Days out at Bendix Woods Park in St. Joe County. And this morning, we have Leslie Witkowski with the St. Joe County Parks Department here to tell us more about that. And she brought along some amazing props. So let's get right to it. You've mm -hmm. got what I'm assuming is a sap bucket right. that you tap the trees with. So mm -hmm. take us through some of the uh, items that you brought along okay. here. Okay. Um, we have here a drill, and we use the drills to drill the tap holes into the okay. uh, maple trees. About two inches, you go into the tree, mm -hmm. and then once you have your hole drilled, um, you'll take this um, little contraption here. It's called a spile, and okay. you would seat this into the hole of the tree. The sap runs through mm -hmm. the little spile here and into your collection container, a sap okay. bucket. Yeah. And uh, we have a lid for our sap bucket because we want to keep all that extra rain or snow out, out of our sap. Sure. Right. And we have some old time tapping uh, tools okay. here as well. Um, this is a spile that was um, carved from wood. Uh, the Native Americans and the pioneers would have used spiles like this. Okay. And um, gourd containers, Native Americans sure. would have used to help collect the sap from the trees once they had tapped the trees too. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we have this. <laughs> and we have our syrup, from sap to yeah. syrup. And um, it takes about 40 gallons of sap collected from a tree to make approximately one gallon of maple syrup. Because you boil that all down, and that's right. something that you'll get to see out at Sugar, at Sugar Camp, Camp Days. Days. It's such a treat. I have been out there before, and if you've got kids, it's such a great learning experience. Now, you were telling me that right now the weather is a little too warm for the sap to run, but we saw in Ed's forecast that things are going to yeah. cool down. Once that temperature cools down at night, that's that's the best. We like above freezing temperatures during the day and below freezing temperatures at night. And um, that fluctuation in temperature helps the sap to flow. And um, you can watch maple syrup being made yeah. in the sugar house at sugar camp days. You can see Native American cooking demonstrations, pioneer cooking demonstrations in a cast iron kettle. We have blacksmiths with lots of um, historical crafters, mm -hmm. wood carver, um, rug makers, soap makers. Um, it's a it's a great family fascinating family festival. process and what we're not seeing there but what really might entice lots of people is the massive breakfast that you guys yeah. put on out there pancakes of course syrup sausage right, all the fixings right. we also have maple hot dogs and maple sloppy <laughs> joes uh, maple kettle corn maple cotton candy a maple baked wow. goods sale so all of our desserts and baked goods are made with pure maple syrup mm. so there's lots of maple if you are a big maple fan absolutely wonderful let's uh, remind people how they can get more information about the event I think we've got your website pulled up here mm -hmm. Leslie where there's all kinds of information about um, the event the Facebook page Page right where we can get more information it's next weekend next weekend March 21st and 22nd out of Bendix Woods, Woods County Park in New Carlisle okay it looks like you're also getting some pie day action <laughs> in there too <laughs> thank you so much for joining us thank Leslie you. and we will look forward to sugar camp thank days. you very much and stay right here we're back with more in just a moment